Hello, Patches and I are here, and I'm gonna read to you, We Were Tired of Living in a House, another one of my favorites, by Liesl Moak Scorpin, pictures by Doris Byrne. We Were Tired of Living in a House, by Liesl Moak Scorpin, pictures by Doris Byrne. For my mother and my father. This book is from 1969. We were tired of living in a house. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. until we tumbled out. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. And we moved to a pond. We liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads. Below, fish darted, dragonflies above, and our pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. We liked our pond. Until we sank. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. And we moved to a cave. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. Until we met the bears. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. And we moved to the sea. We liked the sea. We built a castle on the shore from salty water and warm sea sand with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. But the tides kept washing us out to sea. So we packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing like the surf. And we went home to live in a house. And that's it. 
I'll tell you a little bit about the author. Born in Germany of American parents, Liesl Moke Skorpin returned to the United States at the age of one and a half years and grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. She attended Wells College in Aurora, New York, and later studied philosophy at Yale University, where she met her husband, Erling, a professor of philosophy. For a number of years, the Scorpions lived in Nevada before moving to Maine, where they now make their home. That was in 1969. They have six children. Kim, who is eight, came to them from Korea, and Andrew, the youngest, is an American Indian. Mrs. Scorpion is the author of several other children's books for young boys and girls, including If I Had a Lion and That Mean Man. Hmm, I wonder what those are about. About the artist, oh, look at this. Since she was nine years old and first set foot on a small island in Puget Sound, Doris Byrne wanted to live on an island. She lived in Portland, Oregon, where she was born, and she attended the universities of Oregon, Hawaii, and Washington, where she received her degree before she found her island home on Waldron in Washington. Andrew Henry's Meadow, her first book for children, which we read the other day, was created on Waldron. The island has no electricity, telephones, running water, or stores of any kind. Everything has to be brought in on the mail boat from the mainland, including the paper, pens, brushes, and inks for her work. Mrs. Byrne is the author-illustrator of The Summer Folk and the illustrator of Old Celtic Folk Tale by jo Joseph Jacobs, Hudden and Dudden and Donald, oh, Donald O'Neary. Hmm. Look at that. I've always thought that there was something between those two books that I loved and I hadn't noticed, hadn't read them closely enough together to notice that they were in fact the same illustrator. Well, have a great day. Nice to see you all.